today we are getting our casita carpet cleaned as part of our renovations. This is Amanda from Two Doves Nation. I am at the front of my parents' house right now because it is so loud from the carpet cleaners that you couldn't hear me talking on the video. But we have Polly, as you know, and pets give off odor, but also our floor is carpeted so it holds on to smells and everything we are going to be fixing that problem but as part of the process we are getting all the carpet in the casita thoroughly cleaned there was a stanley steamer here in columbus that was willing to come out and give me a quote today the quote was 139 dollars that includes cleaning all the carpet the bottom the walls the top and putting pet deodorizer and scotch guard on the carpet so i'm hoping that this will get rid of all the smells <laughs> from polly and what we're also hoping is that we don't have to take up the carpet when we lay down vinyl flooring the plan is to leave the carpet down as an insulation barrier and lay vinyl flooring on top of it i'm hoping we can do that so we don't have to take the carpet up so we're getting it cleaned first and we'll see how it goes. The first part is they're vacuuming it out really well and they're gonna spray a cleaner on it, vacuum it up again, and then lay down the deodorizer. We have finally started our new flooring project. We got the chairs out of our dinette and we got all of our bedding and our bed supports out of here so we can get a good look at all of the carpet those chairs were so hard to get out of here they were actually bolted through the floor uh, i had to be under the casita to hold the bolts so ace or my dad could do the nuts from up here inside the casita so we have the chairs removed and we are going to have to remove the table, but we haven't done that yet because the chairs were an ordeal. Let's take a look at this carpet because this is the last time you're going to be seeing it. Here's our carpet. Now, our casita is a 2004 and those chairs had never been removed. This is carpet from 2004. And I removed... There's usually a little piece of wood covering this. I took the screws out of it so we could get to all of the carpet. And we're going to have to get these plates up as well. And this, this track right here is actually for a drawer that we keep under our bed for storage. We'll have to get that up. But for now, no chairs. Look at how big and spacious it feels in here without the chairs. We got this done. There's no more vent hood. I'm so excited. It feels so much more open right there. Today we're putting down the floors in the birdhouse. I am cutting the floorboards so we can get this floor in after we got sidetracked a little bit. Today is round two with these darn floors. The thing about casitas are nothing is square in them. So we're having a little bit of issue, but hopefully we will get these floors in today. Look like the flooring is laid. Check it out. Ooh, dang nabbit. Yeah, boy. And then we can kind of tap some if we need to after that one's anchored. The floor is in and now it's time to put the plates back. We got the plates out whenever we were 
prepping the floors to, to lay down the laminate flooring. And they just have six screws and we took the screws out and use a crowbar to pull them up because they can sometimes be a little bit brittle and I broke one, but <laughs> just use a crowbar to pull it up and it should pop right out. These did have some caulking or some silicone and stuff around them, but even with the crowbar, they came up okay. We left the holes where the plates were and we just laid over them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a drill and drill a hole up through the flooring so we can put the plates in. We've got the holes right here. I just gotta drill them out. We got the holes drilled through the flooring. Yay! I'm putting some silicone caulking around these things because we don't want them to be leaking. Getting rid of this chair. Putting in this chair. Father and daughter bonding time. By putting in these new chairs, we are saving about two and a half inches on either side or about five inches total because our old chairs had were a little bit wider and they also had armrests on them. So yay, five more inches. That's what she said. I just drilled holes from underneath the rig for the chairs so we can connect them to the floor. How you doing under there? I'm doing good. One chair down, one to go. New floors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Amanda reminding you to keep soaring to the end.